Stephen, congratulations. What an absolute belter of a game up there. We know you and Nathan are close, but just sum it up for us. Yeah, it was a very, very nervous game all the way through. Um, I felt like I started off really well. I come off the stage in, in the break and um, me and Nathan were having a laugh in the, in the back and I got back on stage and just, I don't know, I lost a bit of composure. My doubles started to, to alert me and avert me, is it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, just, listen, it's one of them games when, when you get through like that, you don't really look at the performance, you look uh, forward to the next round and that's what I'll be doing. When it goes to that deciding leg, is it a nice feeling when you get off first and Nathan doesn't? I was praying. I was praying just hit that first double and put him under pressure. And then um, I was praying that he didn't get off. But uh, yeah, listen, like I said, Nathan's a really good friend of mine. Um, either of us could have won that match. And I'm just lucky to be sat here and into the next round. And I'm looking forward to the next round. You had some great preparation up to this. I know you spoke about earlier the exhibition that you did with Michael at the weekend was a fabulous standard. And you said to me, these new darts will take me to a title you now believe in that even more oh, a million percent well not after that game but <laughs> um, yeah a million percent listen I'm, people are seeing the averages posted um, what I'm playing um, but I'm even better than that on the practice board so um, I'm just got to I said to my manager the other day after the first couple, after the first day I think I had a 111 and a 110 uh, a 109 a 106 I said to him, I said, the averages are keep creeping up. I don't want this to be a one-off. I want to keep at it. I'm back on the practice board. I'm practicing harder than ever, and I'm working at my game to make sure I can be the best Stephen Bunton that I can be. And if I'm the best Stephen Bunton, I can win titles, no doubt about it. From winning the late side to now, is this the best that you've ever felt? Not just the best I've felt. I think it's the best I've ever played. Um, even when I won the late side, I was 90-odd averages, uh, very steady, hard to beat. Now, um, with me scoring, it's given me that extra three darts, so I can miss darts at doubles. Obviously, this is different because it's double off, but um, there's different pressures for a double off game than a normal 5 one so I've got to adapt this week. I'll be back on the practice board tomorrow, even though it's my day off, and I'll be ready for, for Wednesday. Can you talk us through why you think those extra grams on your darts have made all the difference? I think some of the venues, obviously, with them being so big, um, there's, there's extra breeze and extra um, air in the room so when you throw a 12 gram you feel every little slight movement in a dart so going up six grams may seem a lot but uh, I think I'm still the lightest on the tour so um, yeah yeah but listen it's what works for the, for the individual person and from what I've seen on the practice board and what I've seen at Pro Tour last week um, they're the dart for me. Stephen, many congratulations. Thank you very much. You've mentioned them there, Stephen. The Pro Tours last week, we saw some absolutely huge averages consistently over the, the 100 mark. That must give you so much confidence coming into this. Yeah, like, like I said before, um, obviously when you're posting uh, averages over 100 and you've not done it in your career consistently, um, the proof's in the pudding, isn't it? Um, I'm doing it. I believe in the darts, I believe in the equipment, I believe in uh, the preparation that I put in now for events. Um, but it's not just about that, I've got a great team behind me, I've got a wonderful manager, I've got a lovely family, I've got a brilliant fan base. Um, and it's all, it, I'm not just doing it for myself, I'm doing it for them as well. So uh, yeah, that gives me the belief and the confidence to, to push on for my career. And you were playing an Nathan Aspinall that won the World Match Play just a number of weeks ago. Were you expecting a little bit more from, from Nathan in that one? I think he was as nervous as me. Um, I think it showed through the match. Obviously, uh, we've got great rapport off the hockey. We're really close friends. We practice together. But you can't prepare for, for going up there and playing double off, which is obviously alien to us. We play it once a year. Um, gone are the days where I used to play local league, and it was 3 or one double off ev every day. So, uh, yeah, we're still trying to get used to the format. I absolutely love it. Um, and hopefully I can lift the title by the end of the week. You must look at this draw. I mean, Martin Schindler in the next round. There's some real opportunities in your half and your quarter of the draw. Yeah, but I'd have been stupid to, to overlook uh, Nathan Aspinall. Listen, um, I obviously knew who I was playing next round, but um, when it come down to that last leg, I was just, like I said before, praying that that double went in. Um, and then I, I had a healthy lead. I was able to relax a tiny bit and get over the line. But Listen, credit credit to Nathan as well. Uh, he's put a lot of effort in. Uh, we've practiced together, like I said before, and um, for one reason or another, it just it wasn't the best game we could both produce. But uh, I'm happy to be through. Cheers, Stephen. Thank, Thank you. you, Stephen. I remember you sitting here last year and saying I'm playing better than ever, but you seem to have taken it to a new level over the past few months. Is there anything different apart from the darts that you've been doing in terms of your, your 
preparation? I, th- I think confidence is always a massive thing in that, and um, obviously you reap the rewards from from how you're playing on the tour. It's consistent. It's consistent. Um, I would say more than ever, um, and I can take that into. It gives me the confidence to, to push on. Um, I believe there's more in the tank as well, which is which is <laughs> scary, really. That I, I've got um, bigger averages than one tens coming. So, um, but I also believe that that's going to happen. So. As long as I keep believing, then I can be dangerous. Do you think sometimes you maybe underestimated a bit coming into the majors? Um, well, I hope everyone underestimates me, to be honest. Um, like I said, I'm dangerous. Um, I've got confidence behind me. It's gone up now to best of five sets, so I can relax a bit more in the, in the tournament. And uh, Like I said, I've got a day off tomorrow, but I'll be back on the board and making sure that when I do play on Wednesday, my doubles will be going in. To be the world match play champion in the first round, how much belief does this give you now going forward? It's massive belief. Obviously, it, like I said, it wasn't our best game, um, but just coming off the back of the pro tour with the averages that I posted, I was a bit uh, downbeaten and um, that I didn't pick up up a title the way I was playing. But the players who are in on the tour now is just it's incredible the standard even from the the young kids coming through. I think I lost to Christian Kist. He's not even got a tour card. So um, I had 106 average, so it just shows how um, how well the tour is going and uh, what, a, what a future data has got. Cheers, Stephen. Thank you. Stephen, huge congratulations coming through what's a tricky tie with the World Match Play champion. When you face someone who you are so close with, how, how difficult is it on the hockey? It's very difficult because um, obviously you've got that rapport, you're having a laugh in the practice room. Uh, even when you come off after winning that first set, we still have a laugh in the practice room and stuff. But um, you've then got to refocus and and you've got to you've got you've got to make him your enemy. But it's so hard to do when you like someone so much and you practice together. Um, I'm glad that game's out the way now and I can focus on on whoever's coming off. You mentioned that that you change it now. You've gone from 12 to 18 grams. At what point did you decide that to get to the next level that you need to change your equipment? Because you've been with 12 for so long. Uh, well, I've had the 18 grams since last July. Um, I spoke to Target about developing a new dart and uh, they said, what about them 18 grams we sent you? And I went, oh yeah, I forgot about them. <laughs> so uh, I literally got them out the cupboard, started playing with them. I had two nine darters and missed double 12 for the third nine darter in the same day and I thought, these are the darts for me. And that was the reason why I had a lot of confidence to, to switch them straight away. Next up we've got Martin Schindler. Were you prepared differently for that game than what you did with the game against Nathan Aspinall? Um, yeah, probably. He's, he's a bit smaller than he, so... Uh, no, no. Um, listen, he's a quality player. I've played him a few times before, um, like you said, recently in the European, uh, in front of his German crowd. So hopefully, all the English crowd can get behind me. But um, no, I'll, I'll just, like I said, just get on the practice board tomorrow, make sure my doubles are going in, and uh, try and put them under as much pressure as I possibly can. Stephen, well done. Thank you. Thank you.